Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing a styling tutorial for our Ingrid unit, which is a highlighted blunt cut bob. So we're gonna get started on that. I did do this color in another tutorial, so definitely look out for that one. Um, or check it out, it should be posted before this one, so you can see how we got this color and get it yourself. Um, so first, we're gonna start with heat protectant, especially for colored hair, you do wanna make sure you are saturating the hair with heat protectant because you want to make sure that those ends especially are protected when color goes on the hair it is a little bit more prone to damage and it's already somewhat damaged because color always damages the hair no matter how healthy it feels so you want to make sure you're protecting it and keeping it as long as you can so definitely use your heat protectant don't be stingy with this you definitely need to do it and then we're gonna go in and part the hair. So for this unit, it is a middle part. And since it's a blunt cut, we do part before we start cutting because you want the cut to be super precise. I'm just gonna solidify this part. I'm not gonna super style it right now just because we are going to go over and style it towards the end after we've done the cut. But I do wanna make sure that it is in that middle part so that the haircut is actually even. Now, if you haven't watched my other bob tutorial, I'm basically going to be doing the same method. So we are going to be taking it section by section with the bottom first, of course. We are not going to be cutting it all at once because then you do run the risk of having it be uneven. Uh, especially if you haven't done this before, I definitely recommend cutting it in sections and just you can have a super precise cut. What I like to do is straighten out the hair before I cut it so everything is as stretched out as possible so the cut is even and straight. You don't want to be cutting on, you know, wavy hair or curly hair unless it's going to always stay that way because your cut will be uneven. So you do want to make sure the hair is as straight as you can get it. Don't bump it just as yet. You just want it to be straight down so you can solidify that cut and then you can do more stylized straightening after.
once I have all the hair straight, I am gonna go in with my shears. I'm using um, the Andes shears, I believe. It really doesn't matter as long as they're sharp and they can cut the hair, you should be good. I also have a small tooth comb so that I can line up the hair with the shears so it makes it easier for me to cut and makes so that all the hair is, you know, tangle free and exactly where you need it to be when you are cutting it. And then for the first cut, you want to make sure that you are cutting the hair where you want it to be its shortest. So this is basically going to be your anchor for where all the bob hair is going to sit. As you keep going up, we're going to be cutting a little bit longer each time just so that it's all even once you do put it on your head. Um, but this is going to be like the base of where it's going to sit. So this is where you are going to see where you want it to sit on the mannequin head. And this is when it's good to have one of these type of mannequin heads. I have a GEX one because you can see where it's going to hit on to the person's neck or your neck if this is a wig for you. So you're going to cut that one. This is going to be your shortest cut. So definitely make sure you're not cutting too short because you obviously cannot grow the hair back. Um, but you can always cut more. So cut less than you think that you want and then you can go in and recut it after. So I'm cutting to about the end of the dome head um, and then going from there because this is like a 12 inch bob. So you just want to see where that would be. I can, you can go ahead and like measure from the top to however long you want your bob to be. So for this one, you want to measure from the top of the lace to where 12 inches would hit. And that's about here, so this is where I am cutting. And like I said, as you're going up, you're taking small sections and you want to cut less than an inch, maybe just a little bit more than um, half an inch. Each time you want to cut a little bit lower. So if you've cut, you know, at one point, you want to go a little bit lower and then cut the next section. This is so that when you like tilt your head forward, it doesn't look all choppy in the back. It's just nice and even and smooth. Um, that's why we do this. And then you just want to keep doing that all the way up the head until you get to the very top. 
and you'll see it start to, to come together but then you'll have your nice blunt cut bob and everything will be super even Once I'm finished cutting, I like to go in and style up the bob. So I'm gonna start off, you know, with my lace, just getting that all situated. Um, like I always say, if you want your lace to lay super flat, especially for these type of units where you want it to be super sleek, you wanna go in sections and part it out. Um, I don't think I did this on camera, but I did go in sections, part all the way down, flatten it, part all the way down, flatten it to leg it to the top and you can see how flat the hair is um, so definitely do that if you want your wig to lay super super duper flat and then also just a key when you do install the hair if this is for you um, or if you are someone who has a wig and you're looking to see how you should style it when you do install it even if you've styled on a block head go ahead and re-flatten it to your head shape just because your head may not be exactly the shape as the block head so you want to make sure it is flattened and styled to your head um, instead of just the block head <laughs> Shots make it feel relief. Anything don't you ever need to go? 
I do also go in and bump the ends of the unit just so that I can have that nice little styled bob look. Um, and once I'm done that, I'm going to go in and apply some hairspray and a little bit of the dry bar um, soda spritz, I think it's called, the shine spray, just to give the hair a little bit of a shine. Um, and then you're pretty much done with the styling. This is a super easy one to style, um, especially after the cut. The cut is probably the hardest part just because it is kind of tedious and time consuming. But after you finish with that, it's a quick straighten and that's pretty much it. Once you're finished with everything, you can go in and touch up anything that you see is like out of place if you see any hairs that need to be cut you can go in and get those ones but after you finish that you are pretty much done with this unit And as you can see, as I'm tilting it forward, nothing is, you know, choppy. It looks like a nice even bob all the way around. And that's what you want to see. And that's pretty much it for this unit. It's pretty easy to style. Um, like I was saying, like this is an easy one, especially if you are new to wigs. Once it's cut and stuff, this is a great one for you if you just want to, you know, straighten the hair and be done with it. It's not a lot of hair, it's 12 inches, so it's super beginner friendly and a great color for fall if I do say so myself. I love a little highlight for fall. It is very nice. I also just wanted to point out, as you see me here styling the wig back up on this mannequin head, on the pretty mannequin head, to take pictures, this is a great tip for wig makers. I do follow a lot of wig makers and a lot of wig makers follow me. And the number one thing that I'm seeing that is like hurting you guys when it comes to, you know, getting sales and stuff like that, even when I do my coaching calls, is not taking pride in the way that your wig is presented when you are posting these pictures. As you're seeing here, I'm making sure everything is flat, everything is, no hair is out of place. You wanna make sure that you are doing the same, that your background is clean. It makes so much difference. You would not believe, you may think it's like a small thing and people will just buy a wig just because they see a wig, but that is not true. You wanna make sure that it looks like a million bucks so someone will see it and say, yeah, this is the wig for me. You want them to be able to imagine it on their head so you definitely want to put in that time to style it up and make it look nice and clean up your background a little bit make it look like you know this is maybe a salon or something like bougie like that even if it's your living room because it could be this is fine this is a bedroom so that's fine 
Um, but definitely take pride in that if you want to see your sales skyrocket for sure. But that is the end of this video. If you're interested in this wig, like I said, this is the Ingrid wig. It is on my site in the signature collection. I will have a link down below as well as all the products and tools that I used if I can find them. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.